Alright, so we're looking at Victor Eng's list. This is like my favorite Lost Box list. Um, and out of the Orlando, Florida Regional. Uh, I don't like one recycler. Two four steel stone, I get that. Maybe cut the echoing horn. It does set up place for the sable eye right here. Um, you can cut the goon. Cut the goon, add Drapion. Uh, just for that matchup. Uh, four ropes, two carts, two vacuums. Two vacuums is good for the turbo. Uh, three quick is good. Um, everything looks solid. I'd probably cut the echoing horn as a second recycler, so you do have the option for the Kyogre move. Um, the stone is nice, but like, oh, I don't know. No captures. It's turbo. We're gonna watch this match, but this is like the best lost box list. One that I'm actually gonna be building. Uh, something close to this. Um, I'm probably gonna cut the air balloon. And maybe one stone for two captures, which will allow me to cut a quick ball and just play two quick ball for the second recycler. Cut the echoing horn. The zigzagoon, it's nice, but it, it's like you need your comfy so fast that the zigzagoon is just, it kind of slows you down. It's nice to have though, because it does set up for extra win. Um, yeah, cut, cut, two capture. Uh, recycler, echoing horn, quick ball, and goon. That's Drapion, and maybe a second cram but you really don't need two cram you just need it the one time to just pound and that's it other than that this is like best list all right let's look at the matchup he's, he's an absolute unbelievable performer love to see him here in orlando gonna be facing off Yo. against victor ong who all right victor if you watch this bro hit me up we're in the same area we can we can play is starting to blaze a trail for themselves as well uh, with this very interesting build of the Lost Zone box. It is going to be Lost Zone up against Lugia for this round here, and our players are getting those prizes set out. We'll take a look and see. Now, the thing about Victor's Lost Box... The Raikou, the Kyogre, that's fine. We got Heavy Ball. Uh, scoop Up Net kind of sucks. Vacuum, Mirage Gate. Uh, he's got one belt down, but he doesn't need it in this matchup. Incense and boss can help, and then depending on how many fish Diago plays, Oxide probably runs is, two. He's playing kind Mostly of like a turbo version. Two. Four seal stone, search for lost vacuum. That's three extra cards in the lost zone, and it could be very explosive. Yep. Working in some aggression there with those V Pokemon. It's not standard in the Lost Zone decks, uh, unless, of course, you're playing the Soian Gudra or something like that. But we have seen this inclusion uh, be fairly relevant. It's a great way to put some pressure on some of these Pokemon, like that Lugia V, and uh, sometimes you catch your opponent slipping. Prizes for Victor, that is one of the ways you can take a knockout on early Lugia. But we'll have to maybe see if a uh, Hisuian Heavy Ball can find its way. Meanwhile, Diego is starting things off with an Evolution Incense. Get to take a look at the deck, grab an Archaeops, and from there, Bob's your uncle. No, he's not. <laughs> he's still with three <laughs> escape my neighbor. Rooms. Yeah, uh, Evolution Incense always feels weird as your opening card to start with. Uh, it's, why do I need an Evolution right now? This is turn one. I can't evolve. And well, you're, you're looking for Archaeops. You need to get this Pokemon into the discard pile as early as or possible. Is that a VIP? Don't leave any room for error. Don't let your opponent disrupt your hand or anything like that. But usually, when you're looking over at your opponent and they're uh, they're got Compe, you're uh, you're not too scared about losing your hand. All right, Diego, calm down. It's only round 13. Double Archaeops, Ultra Ball, perfect start here. Even having the Lugia V Star in hand, 
Yeah. So you can find a Luminion here, potentially, and set up for next turn. The beanie is built different. He's doing some work here on the stream. Looks like the rest of the hand got a little worried as a, they just saw that Lugia, but maybe there was a little more to it, as I, we would have probably seen Luminion then. A guru well, you also have to realize uh, these players playing around the top tables here in day two, they do look around a lot. They figure out, okay, well, I'm mo most likely going to be playing against this person or something like that. I think Diego might know. Yeah, there's a potential that Victor can get that turn one Mirage Gate out. Yeah, you do not want to lose uh, your only Lugia V right now, as that would be detrimental. And yeah, you can see right now a big nod of respect there, as the hand is just a couple energies and a Lugia V star. This Let, is let's a... see how fast this deck really is. <laughs> Well, uh, it actually slurping. works out because the, the Raikou that could take the KO is in the prizes. So Dragonite could be a source of a knockout for Victor here and starting things off with a big flower selecting, finding that battle VIP pass. Unreal. Yeah, when you have the option between those two cards, you know it's probably going to be a good day for I like his energy count, see, though, because it's like 10. Through, trying to get some information so you can here. always keep track of those 10. Old school those are what, Holum Phantom from 07 or something? That's that's back when I used to win. <laughs> <laughs> I might have had those in my, in my regional win from 17 years ago. <laughs> Well, trying to make a comeback now, uh, looking through, trying to just get what is in the prizes into your head. Yep. Need that info. Yep. Sees all of the Pokemon there. Says, well, if I want to take this Lugia out, it's probably going to be by the hand of that Dragonite V uh, attack inclusion that we've seen from Azul's testing group. Uh, as this has been a, a really solid way to start to put some pressure on these high hit point Pokemon early on in the game. We noticed that Lost Box was just not good at that early on. You really just would have to use that Cramorant and deal a little bit of chip damage, and you'd start falling behind in the prize race. Listen, Chip has nothing to do with this. You know? <laughs> he's, he's probably taking a restroom break. Let's give, let's give Chip his time. Talking about you. <laughs> Now, for the two Pokemon here, it does look like that Dragonite V and that Comfy. And with the four Sealstone in hand, and wow, three Escape Rope. Uh, we, we could see a pretty good turn, but uh, you'll need to play two of those. Uh, you can't play the third one, because then the Dunsparce comes back up. Dunsparce is going to get dizzy this turn. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you that. You know, we do see the one card in the Lost Zone so far. The magic number is going to be seven. There is a cute way to get there by the use of these V Pokemon in the deck. You actually see that Forest Seal Stone in the hand there for, with the Dragonite V. There's a cute combination where you use that card uh, with the Lost Vacuum and get some additional cards into the Lost Zone on this early turn. Energy going to the Lost Zone, but finds the Mirage Gate. Hey, that's step number one. That's a great trade, yeah. Here comes that Forest Seal Stone down onto the Dragonite V. And actually getting to flip the marker of a V-Star with uh, this toolbox tech has to feel pretty good. Yeah, it, it might be beneficial just to find the Chorus experiment now. Uh, and with the amount of switch cards you have available and seeing more cards just with the Chorus, uh, you could probably do it even without the Lost Vacuum. Yep, we did see the bottom two cards of the deck there were Chorus experiment and the Lost Vacuum. So Victor definitely understands how to get all these cards into I the should just order two more for us. Five yeah. options will be seen from this card, and sure enough, if you can find that lost vacuum, you might e not even need to use all those escape ropes to. to get the job done. But just one more. I want to play on give you that Lugia. And there is that course. Is no experiment. way. What is going on? Even found the energy needed and the scoop up net. That is one of the most perfect courses <laughs> experiments I have seen. <laughs> it throws away a forest seal stone with it. This is unreal. Turbo is definitely the name of this deck. This is absolutely phenomenal here. So now you can scoop up net, bring up that new Comfy, and get another flower select, and that's five. Lost Vacuum will guarantee the Mirage Gate, and <laughs> with the last escape rope, this has been an insane turn one, but this is what Victor has built his deck to do. Yeah, this is filthy. I, I, I don't know another way to describe it right now. Diego's sitting here going, yeah, I mean, I I gave I put the Dunsparce down so that I, I could stick around. I didn't think you'd knock me out through Dunsparce. Uh, sure enough, I that's exactly what's happening. 
this would have merited just grabbing another Lugia V, I guess. That's so yeah. good. Uh, th at that point, that that's probably going to be the safer route to go, and maybe Diego does that in game two, which should be starting shortly. So <laughs> if you want to go ahead and get a drink and come back, that's, uh, <laughs> that's where we'll be in a few minutes. Yeah, once that Lugia V goes down, I am <laughs> almost guaranteeing that Diego is going to scoop up those cards <laughs> and... What an insane turn one here from Victor. Escape rope yet again. Oh. Taking the knockout on the Lugia V with Dragon Gale. 250 damage. And then, yeah, you have to do 20 to each of your bench. But, hey, <laughs> it's looking pretty good right now. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and give the golf clap to that turn. Fantastic. Victor on. What a great way to start things off here on stream. <laughs> Game number one taken so quickly, and Diego is going to have some work ahead of him here, as uh, that is that is quite the deck to face. <laughs> I only need one turn. It's fine. Just give me one turn. Yeah. How do you uh, how do you recover from that? It took seven minutes to watch all of your hopes and dreams dissipate. But sure enough, at least the game was quick, and you know that your deck is definitely capable of moving that rapidly as well. So expect to see a good game two here, potential game three if Diego can find a couple more Pokemon. And I, I really want to see another turn out of Victor. That was intense. <laughs> well, we're gonna get at least one more turn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, just the power of Forest Sealstone, being able to find that Coalesis Experiment, which is the lifeblood for this deck. Uh, being able to get guaranteed two cards in the Lost Zone, but really just digging through that deck, finding more resources to just continue the turn. Yeah, it's a it's a very cute strategy, just making use of it's all of the cards cute. and it's good. on that opening turn. And sure enough, uh, everything came to fruition there. Uh, I'm excited to see if Victor is capable of doing that once more. I don't know how many times he's done that throughout the tournament, but if, if John Eng is calling it out in his interview, you know that it was impressive. <laughs> that was his only loss on the day yeah. in, in day one. Insane to think about. Uh, and that's why he also plays the Dragonite V and the Raikou. Both of those able to take down a Lugia V if needed. Yep, you just also just need to have that V in general in order to, to get the ball rolling there with the Forest Seal Stone. So it works out pretty fantastically there. Also wonder if just playing all these cards gets you closer to the Kyogre in that mid-stage of the game, perhaps, or even that is true, rushes yeah. the, the end game, because uh, that's something that we haven't really seen uh, with all of the games of the, these uh, Lost on Kyogre decks. I mean, when you go through a 30-year deck turn one, uh, pretty likely chance that there's going to be no deck by the end of turn four. <laughs> Well, we'll see if the prize cards stick around this time or if Victor's just going to grab all those, too, on the first turn. <laughs> Lost Vacuum hiding yet again, but the one put in a ton of work last game. One Lugia V-Star. There are three in this list, so not too detrimental. But the Lugia V also is a little unfortunate. Just going to be working with the 2-2 line. One thing to note is there's only one Cramorant for Victor, so that being in the prize cards could be a little detrimental, but... <laughs> You know, why do another battle pass in here? Why, why spit innocently when you could just win the game on, on turn <laughs> one? All right, goal number one for Diego. Get two Lugia V into play. Oh, uh, this gets scary. The opening move uh, of the turn oh, is going to oh, be no. Primate Wisdom into second research. Uh, there's no Lugia. How about zero Lugia V? Sounds good. That's much. not going to work. I don't think there's a Thornton in this deck. you got to be Thornton me. <laughs> Well, we're gonna see the double turbo attached to the Orangaroo. Oh no! There are is that is that four energy in the hand for Victor though? Four energy battle VIP pass and a quick ball. Uh, the quick ball can go find Luminion V and that can search for the Colorus's experiment. But yeah, the four energy is gonna be a little taxing, and we're gonna see here Victor count those remaining ones. Make sure you have enough to actually Mirage Gate. Yeah, three of the water energies are in the hand right now, and. Uh, I didn't get a look at the prize cards, but definitely going to make sure that enough are there off of uh, potential Mirage Gates. It looks like we do see enough copies there to get the job done if we don't have some awkward flower selecting in the future. I also just love this list because it reminds me of those decks where it was just like four uh, discard draw seven supports, like four Professor Juniper, stuff like that. This is just four Colors Experiment. Go all in. 
I'm going to be using this every turn. Yeah, it's a Comfey's acting like a like a smeargle with the yeah. the, the dark ride days of old. <laughs> just you know what? I'll just draw cards any way possible without supporters. It does make sense, you know, when you're trying to play games as quickly as this, you're not looking to play five turns. So let's just use the supporter every turn and win the game. I really do wonder how many uh, actual just turns of Pokemon Victor has played through. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if he legitimately plays two, two turns of Pokemon on stream and walks away to the winner's interview, uh, I, I'm going to run out of things to say. That's, that's just phenomenal. <laughs> So have you been enjoying your time in Orlando? <laughs> yeah, honestly, this guy's had six lunch breaks. <laughs> Battle VIP pass grabbing that Comfey and Radiant Greninja. Gonna start things rolling. Hey, what's uh, pretty good when you have a ton of energy in hand? Concealed cards. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make use of that. We could see scoop up net and combinate. No, don't draw all your lightning energies. That's not how we do things. That's actually the <laughs> probably the worst cards you could have seen. Those are all three of his lightning energies in the hand. Sure you get to learn. All right, we got a game. <laughs> Victor, <laughs> what are you doing, my friend? No, you don't you don't even there's no way to put these back. There's no Marnie. We just talked about this. It's just Core's experiments. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be, it, it has to be multiple mirage gates of single water energies at this point. <laughs> Quick ball. Uh, I think that was uh, flower selecting for double quick ball as well. I, uh, I guess one downside of putting your deck in order when you do the first search is you're going to be drawing <laughs> a lot of cards if you don't get that shuffle. Yeah, this isn't this I isn't the Luminion randomization we were stuff. looking for. Well, Luminion comes down. What supporter would you grab, Jeremy? Uh, mm. Chorus. <laughs> Chorus experiment. Great choice. Uh, it's going to be the selection here. See five cards. Hopefully no energies. Uh, doesn't even matter if they five go in the lost energy. zone at this point. It's just... You need to keep those in deck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, four energy in hand to go along with that Dragonite V and a Sableye. Close experiment. We'll be able to look at the top five, get a little bit more info. Switch cart, Mirage Gate. I, I don't think it gets much better than that, at least with how things are going. You see a couple ways to continue to use Compe and maybe to dig deeper in the deck with that Quick Ball, perhaps. Honestly, just didn't want to see any energy cards there and, and did avoid that. But Scoop Up Net is going to need to find the hand pretty soon if this wants to continue. Comfey and Sableye to the Lost Zone, now three. A little bit of a far cry from last game. Why are you going to help me out? I know where to put my yet. cards. Let's see what this flower selecting has in store. Switch cart, one of those interesting inclusions. We did see a lot of just natural switching effects, the switch itself or the escape rope. But then sometimes playing in these mirror matches, your opponent just sticks damage on the board, and you actually do make some decent use of that 30 damage, and you're not evolving at any point. You might as well just take some use of that. Yeah, when your whole deck is basic Pokemon, you might as well play a card that is better when it <laughs> when Every, that Everything's condition. better in a cart, you know? Yeah. You're able to carry stuff easier. <laughs> it's just efficient. And that, that is the name of the game for Victor. Why play more turns when less turns do trick? All right. I think we're going to see a retreat to that Radiant Greninja here. I guess it is a uh, card that does not get knocked out by Whapdown. That's, uh, that's something that we got to look out for, I guess. We're not giving away free prize cards at this stage. Diego now draws double turbo off the top. And this is... Oh, a mm. rough professor's researcher just discarding a ton of supporters. And, hey, we finally found a way to get Lugia V, and it's in that capture energy. Look through the rest. Looks like that Dunsparce was found once more. So if we're worried about that Raikou making an appearance, we could see that come into play there. And we will get a, a good hint here of if double Lugia is on the mind of Diego. I'm definitely worried about sticking at least one down now. Oh, he knows well, with the escape, Ultra Ball right? and the Capture Energy, I do believe it's, it's possible. So you can get the Lugia V and then attach the Capture Energy, you get another one. I think the problem is going to be hand management at this stage. It's just uh, an Ultra Ball, uh, Dunsparce, and a, a Radiant Charizard at this point. So you are probably going to discard something relevant, and that also means that you're not getting the Lugia V-Star if you do have to search for a card like Luminion uh, on the next turn. 
Yeah, also just having to get rid of that Radiant Charizard or Dunsparce too, depending. And then you have to think about your bench space. Yeah. Definitely gets risky at this point. Sometimes you take the, the, the calculator risk and only play down the one Lugia V, but of course the way that uh, this is playing out, it would have had to have been the capture energy that goes and finds the single Lugia. So I expect to see the second Lugia off the capture now. Listen, I, with the way the deck has built for Victor, I, Diego has played around it because now you have uh, two bench Pokemon. <laughs> You're not <laughs> falling prey to that escape rope. Yeah, no, we don't have to see uh, Dunsparce get dizzy this time around. Stoutland going to be the recipient of that capture energy now. and uh, That can be a, a great Pokemon to use in this matchup. Of course, uh, chowing down on some comb phase, getting some additional prize cards and making this game a little bit quicker would be beneficial for Diego because he doesn't want to see Victor get any more big turns. Second Lugia V off that capture energy. So Diego has a pretty good turn one for turn two. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think he wants those turn ones on turn one. But <laughs> yeah, I think I think this will work out you take what you uh, all get. right if those energies stay where they need to be. We actually do see the benching of the Dunsparce. So that means... If there's no knockout taken from Victor's side of things, only one Archeops could hit the board. Yep. In, uh, in only playing the four Culver's experiment, that also means that gusting effects that aren't escape rope uh, aren't going to be possible. So at least the single prize option can uh, be promoted. This is a pretty big five cards here off this Culver's experiment. You have another one for next turn, but you also have Echoing Horn, which is actually pretty insane right now. Uh, <laughs> how are you going to get your Archeops in play if you have a full bench? That would be terrifying. Yeah, that's that's definitely something to, to think about here. And if you just take the time, uh, there's no mana fee. You could, you could just uh, slowly set up the Kyogre, perhaps? <laughs> <If> you, <laughs> I don't know if there's enough energies in the deck to even get a good Aqua Storm, though. Listen, you just got to eventually discard them all with Concealed Cards, Ooh, and then recycler. Energy Recycler back. Yeah, okay, we got a plan. In five turns, you were so done for, Diego. <laughs> we, we bought a little extra time with Game 1. It's fine, it's fine. Well, we'll see if uh, if that strategy culminates. It's definitely a, a, a wild card one, but I do love it. Six cards in the Lost Zone, and there is that V-Star marker flipped for Victor using that four Seal Stone. Finding what looks to be scoop up net, just being able to get that Comfey in the active spot and get to that magic seventh number. Yeah, the promotion of the Radiant Greninja definitely is showing why it's so beneficial at this stage because these energies in the hand are obnoxious. You need to get them into the discard pile so that you can eventually get them back into the deck now. Yeah, and with the way the cards have kind of fallen for Victor, there's already just three energy left in the hand. <laughs> Started with like 20. That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, we've gone down from from theme deck numbers to championship numbers, and that's what we like to see. And with that scoop up net, it does reset that concealed cards. So being able to get that extra draw out of that radiant Greninja, and we see that first flower selecting for the turn. We're gonna hit to seven now. Basically, an embarrassment of riches for Victor here. Yep, he's uh, definitely doing some heavy lifting there with that hand size and starting to bulk up. And a couple more options here. When you're throwing away scoop up net, you know that it's going to be good. Yeah, air balloon. It's like a scoop up net every turn that you get knocked out. <laughs> that will allow this Comfey to free retreat into an attacker that Victor chooses. And with this quick ball, going to try to get something and... I don't know if there's enough energy to actually do something. Yeah, if there's. It's it's a little awkward. The uh, with the Glaring Zigzagoon and the the Cramorant, there was some potential, but you did mention that the Cramorant was in the prize cards, so it's going to have to be energies uh, that allow for a knockout. Maybe the Luminion uh, works its way in, and uh, re you remove that V for Pokemon from play. It is going to take. Uh, a bit of that Mirage Gate to get that going, though. I think we're digging for Ordinary Rod here or the Recycler, and I see the Recycler. Yeah. But that's one of those that you kind of want to save for a little bit later. 
Definitely Think sets up some Kyogre. wild combos with Kyogre that we've never seen before on stream and would really love to see, Victor. <laughs> well, Recycler will turn on this Mirage Gate, and I guess if you are attacking with Luminion, the energy are going back in the deck in anyway. Yeah, that, that's a, that is another way to put energies back into the deck. We are, we are really finding every avenue at this point, and I, I love it. Now, is it worth it to play the Echoing Horn this turn as well? You could use it for something like bringing back Dunsparce for an easy uh, KO with the Sableye. Uh, so you really want to try to play that at the perfect time, but you could limit one Archeops in Diego's side of the board. Yeah, there's, there's certainly some merit to not taking a knockout at this stage. I don't like I how he played that I certainly see that. Uh, it looks like Victor is going to be set on those prize cards, however. The Mirage Gate is going to be coming down here. Don't think that there's a great oh. sniping option, but maybe uh, you could work that in now. Can soften up that stout one B, uh, which is, has been historically a pain for a lot of these Lost Zone decks. Yep. Maybe put the the chip damage onto the Lugia V as well, and you'll have that knockout lined up for a Dragonite later on. We'll get a good feel for the strategy at this point, because maybe removing Pokemon from play isn't the name of the game right now. As we did mention earlier, that Echoing Horn is in the hand. Uh, the Archeops not having bench space is pretty beneficial for Victor at this stage, too. There is the retreat with the Air Balloon, and now Radiant Greninja is up in the active spot and ready to Moonlight Shuriken. But we don't see the Echoing Horn, so interesting decision there. And actually taking the knockout on the Dunsparce. Yep, this does open up the avenue for that Raikou to do some work on the Lugia. And as you mentioned earlier, that Stoutland V taking some damage could be nice. as a, That's an a easier Pokemon to clean up now, uh, being that its, its hit points are going to be within range of that Cramorant and uh, Zigzagoon soon. A little bit of an awkward hand here for Diego. Has the Ultra Ball and two other cards to discard for Lugia V-Star. But after that, you don't have much else. Uh, there is the option to Quick Ball for Luminion, but then you fill up a bench a little bit and you're back to square one. You can't even go Quick Ball for Luminion for Serena to hold the Ultra Ball because you discarded. <laughs> it's, it's This is getting to a weird spot right now. And you can definitely see... A little bit of frustration for Diego now. He just watches his opponent take a, a 10 minute turn <laughs> and uh, set up just about everything and play 25 cards. Well, his only option is search for a Pokemon. Looks like Diego did opt for the Quick Ball here. And <laughs> wow, Luminion on the top of the deck. Now we'll be able to Luminous Sign for a supporter. Most likely going to get Professor's Research, maybe Marnie. Uh, you do want to kind of disrupt the hand a little bit. Actually, yeah, there is two Marnie in the list. Uh, one's prized, so just one left. Yeah, at this point, you do need a few things to go right, so it does kind of make sense to, to use this Marnie, play against the odds, and uh, hope that your cards are decent, but definitely hope that Victor does not find good cards, because this is definitely becoming an issue at this point. If, uh, if Victor starts to find all of his resources, it almost definitely ends in a 2-0. Now, it is pretty good here, putting the Ultra Ball on top of the deck so you can save it for next turn. Mm. Well, you, you can save it for now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is, this is a, a great way to use this card. Four brand new cards to go along with that Ultra Ball here. And, hey, has the V-Star anyway. Who needs it? it? Gets to hold on to some of those resources. Use that Summoning Star for a measly one, but... It's going to be enough at this point to at least continue to play Pokemon. And if you think about it, the way the deck is built for Victor, it does not have access to go get that Archeops on the bench. So pretty safe outside of something like Sableye. Or Kyogre. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here uh, with the single Archeops. It's probably going to have to uh, find some powerful energies uh, on the, this search, just because you want to make sure that you have an answer built in for potential Dragonite if uh, if that Pokemon were to to find you later on. 
right. <laughs> I was oh, about do to we say, have, where do we... We're, we're, we're going very aggressive here. The, the powerful energy is onto the Stoutland V now. Energy from hand will be able to get that Stoutland and use Wild Tackle for 240 damage. More than enough to take the knockout on that Radiant <laughs> Greninja. But you are going to have to damage yourself as well. So 120 damage on that Stoutland. Yeah, this is where uh, having that Cramorant would be fantastic. A great way to remove all these energies from play, not have to use one of those Mirage Gates. All right, players getting everything situated, kind of clean up the board state. We appreciate that here. It's a, it's a lot of things going on right now, but definitely helps us and the viewers at home. All right, so there is eight cards in the law zone. Two away from actually using this Sableye to do some heavy work. And Victor has a few options as well. You can Mirage Gate, get that Luminion out of play, takes the knockout. And other than that, you, you really just have to just plan out the rest of these prizes. This is going to be the second Mirage Gate that we've seen now, so keeping track of the remaining attacks left, it's probably going to be just two more Pokemon that get set up. So, so if these Pokemon could at least target one V, that would be fantastic Lugia. for Victor and his like prize exchange. No more Radiant Greninja to go through the deck with concealed cards, so just going to have to rely on flower selecting here. Echoing Horn and Kyogre Kitchen were Kyogre. the two choices. Gets rid of the Kyogre. No need. Victor, you don't Victor have seems to have the game plan planned out here. The dream is dead. But at least the uh, the the Echoing Horn was held on to. So maybe uh, we can still <laughs> see some great memes. <laughs> yeah, you got to remember that Dunsparce is in the discard. That's an easy KO with Sableye. That's going to be two additional prize cards for Victor now, going down to three. And we see that Diego is going to likely cash in on taking this easy knockout with the Luminion V, recycling that Pokemon, and maybe finding some resources later on with him in a sign once more. But that means that there's going to be no energies on the board, yep. likely, unless uh, we see the double turbo used here. Yeah, you have to think about uh, with that one primal turbo, you really are taxed on what attackers you can use. I would like to see one of these energies stick on the board. Don't know which attacker you exactly trust at this stage. Double Aurora. I think that's signaling maybe no double turbo energy left. Yep. Well, that, uh, that makes the decision pretty easy for you then. All the energies are going to have to be committed to this Pokemon. Ultra Ball going on top with the Primate Wisdom from Oranguru. Yep, love seeing that. Finds Archeops, which is an easy discard. But Diego is going to have to navigate this whole game so carefully. Just looking to hold on to that one uh, final Ultra Ball in the hand. There will be a shuffle after the Aqua return, so it's not like you can stack with the Oranguru, but... As long as you have access to searching out that Luminion V once more, we'll have a supporter to continue playing the game. Diego's going to do everything he can at this stage. Take that knockout, promote the rank Baru, and make Victor work through a single prize Pokemon. Maybe uh, use one of those Mirage Gates uh, on a single prize Pokemon and maybe once prized and you, uh, you can start to see the avenue. I think it's definitely going to be lost mind time. Uh, you're one card away for 10 and that comfy is gonna allow you to do it and you see the psychic energy in hand Sableye can take a knockout on Oranguru or you can put some damage on Archeops too it, it's really gonna be interesting where Victor decides to go with this turn but now having the Cramorant option yeah there's a there's a world where maybe some of the damage is placed onto um, a, a, the Dunsparce that could be brought back from uh, the Echoing Horn, and then maybe you place the rest of the damage on the Lukia, which lines up for a Dragonite KO to close the game out. I'm thinking maybe there's an Ordinary Rod in this Flower Selecting. 
looking to see what the resources are that you have left. Or no, oh, the Mirage Gate. That is tough, but this Comfy is actually going to be the decision here. And th that means there's a single Mirage Gate left. So Sableye almost has to be a part of the strategy. Well, you have three prizes left. And Sableye has kind of a path to victory, but you would need to attack three times. VIP pass going to be a simple oh, choice. Four seal stone also wasn't very good. That was a terrible flower selector. <laughs> can, can I remove both of them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, depends. Dude, uh, you said the joke quick like enough, three times, bro. Let it go. <laughs> we don't condone any, any sort of that spots. style here, Kyle. Grant Morant is a Pokemon that could also do a little bit of work here. Been waiting to see if, it, <laughs> if it'll do something for a seal stone onto the Manaphy. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of an upgrade, you know. Escape rope will get this Orangu out of the active spot. And it'll be interesting to see what Diego decides to bring up because the there's toss, still toss the threat the of something like a Raikou right. be. Granted, it would be the last Mirage Gate. After seeing the energy already placed before the escape rope, this might make Diego's decision a little easier. He's not going to be worried about that final Mirage Gate and an energy from hand coming out of nowhere to remove this Archaeops from play. But your whole game plan re revolves around that Archaeops. Yep, there's enough in the Lost Zone that Diego has a lot to worry about here. Ops for the Lugia V to the active spot. And hope for the best. Save like definitely can work around that Pokemon. Let's see what the plan is here now. If you could target down the Archaeops over a couple turns, maybe there's just not enough energies to stick onto the board. Or you just take prize cards and say, two more closes this game out. Uh, is one uh, simple uh, attack from one of your Pokemon B to close it out, too, so. Yep. We have not seen uh, the Raikou at all. <laughs> it's, it's been uh, waiting in the wings, but yeah, Diego certainly knows it's there when the when we saw that Dunsparce drop as early as it was. <laughs> so I'm not being surprised by that. Evolution Incense will look through the deck, finds an Archaeops that Diego can get rid of. But this has been such an awkward game, and it's all thanks to just the one Archaeops in play from that Summoning Star. Well, we're going to see those Archaeops fly to the discard pile now. It's going to have to be all on the Luminion here in order to find something relevant. Or is there a different strategy where you just retreat to this Charizard and hope to stick around? You don't see a Luminion right now, and uh, Cramorant's not going to be hitting for weakness, so maybe... Maybe Radiant Charizard can uh, can buy a turn. Yeah, with the way a lot of these Lost Box decks play, uh, it is hard for them to just search for basic Pokemon as the game goes late. And we could see one avenue for victory for Diego start to open up. Yeah, this is this has happened to Diego a, a few times now, where the only strategy involves playing the hand down to nothing. He's having no support in. for the following turn, completely reliant on the top decks. Orangaroo was knocked out, so hopefully this prize card can be helpful. Looks like it was a supporter of Marnie. Ooh. All right. Comfe in the active spot for Victor. Draws an energy for the turn. That's not really what you want to see here. Now, Victor does have three shots to look at the top. A uh, few cards of the deck with Flower selecting and Scoop Up Nets. Diego's list not featuring a way to retreat or to switch rather. So Radiant Charizard, after using the Combustion Blast, is going to be stuck. And with only one Archaeops, that is also pretty devastating. Victor, easy decision there, not playing the escape rope <laughs> and resetting that Radiant Charizard. And finds the Ordinary Rod as well. This is going to be able to shuffle back that Sableye and, more importantly, some energies. Yeah, uh, being able to get this Sableye going here would be fantastic. Maybe you target down one of those V Pokemon like that Lugia V. So if you don't evolve next turn, I'm just going to remove that Pokemon from play. Opting for the Psychic. You have interesting decision here. One Lightning gone. The rest, I think, are in the deck still. 
from that energy recycler, uh, but you are down a few water. Probably gonna put a lightning, but water Two is Two water right and now. one lightning in the discard for Victor. One water in hand. I, I think you have to go the water energy. But then if you don't, that's one less avenue for Raikou to do some magic. Yeah, lightning is pretty beneficial. Wow. Yeah, you have options for so Raikou. I understand that. Looks and like you have some options for Maybe uh, used. Dragonite. Still have a lot of access to water. As as possible. You have five. If you have the option You're with good. two lightning energies, maybe you don't have to make a tough choice later on. Now, again, using the Ordinary Rod before these flower selectings, is that really just signaling, like, I'm going to try to find this Radiant Greninja or Sableye as soon as possible? Yeah, I mean, drawing into those energies uh, and being able to use the Radiant Greninja just means that you can search even further at this stage. Radiant Greninja, but <laughs> also the Lightning Energy. <laughs> See? Jeez. Yep, this is, this is that tough spot that you get in sometimes, and... At least you have the, the last one remaining, but <laughs> oh, no. if you see it again, you're taking it. <laughs> if it gets paired with the Raikou, though, I'm out. Double lost vacuum in the hand for Victor here, and we might be seeing him run out of gas. You got the attack with Cramorant, but that's basically going to be it. Does this line up? some interesting math with the echoing horn Dunsparce, perhaps. I, I think it does. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to leave the Radiant Charizard with 50 oh, damage. Oh, yeah. Already promoting that Dunsparce to the top of the discard pile. You can see the wheel uh, churning along there. And this is one of those plays where you just can't really play around it. If Victor has it, he has it. You, you kind of like that you don't take a no the knockout on the Radiant Charizard here. Yeah. Just, well, we got that lined up. Let's go ahead and uh, and put that down. Don't have to worry about my opponent using Marnie on the following turn here. And uh, we'll have that set up to, uh, to be removed from play later on. Spit Innocently should set up this Radiant Charizard nicely. And what do you do as Diego in this spot, Jeremy? Uh... Draw a card, maybe pass the turn because you can't attack. <laughs> I think that loses, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's going to have to utilize that Marnie. Uh, your opponent has a ton of cards in hand, although all the cards in hand that we see for Victor don't really do anything. It's all going to be off the top of the deck with flower selecting, other than that psychic energy. Capture energy from uh, the Lugia. Is there a different Pokemon that you want to get down at this stage Manaphy. are we just looking for information it's looking like Diego's vid visiting the information booth it's always a good thing to do here in Orlando there's that primal turbo hey that's extra HP on the radiant Charizard maybe <laughs> uh, that actually does put it out of <laughs> the 120 range for Sableye's Lost Mine, but no. Going to the Lugia. Well, I'm going to hope that the Marnie avoids this Sableye with the Psychic Energy. Also needing a way to move out of the active spot here, but plenty of ways to do that if Victor finds the cards. Off the five cards here for Diego. Has the evolution incense to yet again just thin the deck out. It's just like slowly you get that like taking them down, taking them down. You know, just evolve it. Why not? Got to get Feeling these kind cards. Of fun. Yeah. And you also shuffle what was going on in the Marnie. That could be probably a, a net negative at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of those cards were helping. There's Ultra Ball for the Raikou. Again, not really going to be used in this position. And we'll have to pass the turn yet again. Can Victor do it? Energy in hand. Chorus's experiment wow. on the top of the deck. Escape rope in the hand, too. Just looking for the Psychic. It's the he first card. It. And the Sableye. This is game over. 50 HP on that Radiant Charizard. 60 on that Dunsparce. Yeah, can, let's just toss the other four. We just need the Psychic energy here. <laughs> we found the one we like. <laughs> 
I'm just going to make sure we play this you, perfectly. You but have it looks the like all the cards are there to, li to line this up. Into the Lost Zone they go. 15. It's uh, definitely going to be plenty there. The escape rope is played. There is an air balloon on that comb face, so retreating is going to be just a dandy. This is the slower, slowest of rolls. Uh, getting rid Pitch of that right now. Have the Mirage Gate, have yep. the Sableye, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just got to guarantee it. Took the first game in one turn and uh, gives us a little extra time on camera in game number two. <laughs> well done, Victor. What job, Victor. a match to showcase this Lost Box deck. Just so fast out of the gates and Turn turn one, game over. All right. <laughs> yeah. And then next game. All right. Well, we're gonna take a little bit more time, but my deck is built to beat Lugia, and that's what Victor is showing here. Yeah, I'd love to hear the names of players that he's uh, knocked out throughout the tournament so far. If you're taking out world champions like Diego, and also uh, the likes of an incredible talent like John Ang throughout the, uh, this, it could be a long list of great players that uh, have, have seen the turbo. <laughs> just crossing the names off as it goes through. <laughs> yeah. You do not want to be in that book. <laughs> Already taken down a former world champion here in our round 13 and moving ever so closer to that top eight here in Orlando Regionals. That's really cool. I love that deck. That's going to be what I'm putting together. And hopefully what I'm playing in Knoxville.